thing. Find it in hell. Think it's fuck. Oh my god. That's my baby. Caroline, you divine. Mighty. I read somewhere that um, throughout the last, from 34 to birth, the brain and the lungs are developing more. And I feel like by his brain developing, I don't really want to be putting chemicals in my body. Um, I actually had a crazy experience where I was having a lot of chest pains recently. And I, um, I went into the emergency room and um, I went into the emergency room and it, I think it was like at one o'clock and um, I was having the worst feeling in the world. Like I have anxiety and I do have panic attacks. Um, and I pretty much went in for having a panic attack and I wasn't doing anything. My heart just started racing. I almost felt like I was dying. It was the weirdest feeling. And if you're going through that, definitely talk to somebody. What I try to do is I try to listen to relaxation music. And if that doesn't work, I try to like watch a funny video. Just get my mind off of what's going on with my body. But it's kind of hard to do that because you feel as if you're your chest is caving in and everything around you feels weird like you almost don't feel like you know where you are um like i get the hot flashes but then these are like some of the same symptoms for some people when they're having a heart attack i i, I literally read online that that's what it could happen and i felt like that's what was happening to me and i was so scared <laughs> i was so scared i thought i was dying <laughs> but anywho <laughs> I thought I was dying, so I pretty much just went in and, like, I went in. I was like, I can't take this anymore, babe. Could you please take me to the hospital? I can't take it anymore. And I was crying. And I was like, babe, just take me out of the hospital. So I pretty much called the ambulance, and they came. And they were like, are you okay? You know, and I'm sitting there like, no, I can't breathe. What's going on? Where am I? <laughs> It was so funny. It was crazy. It's the worst feeling in the world. And it's like when I get them, they happen back to back sometimes three or four times a day. And half the time, I don't have anything going on. Like, I don't, I'm not in a stressful environment. I'm not in a stressful situation. Like, I'm fine. You know, and it was pissing me off because I'm sitting there like, why is this happening to me? You know, and I'm freaking out and everything. And the EMT text, they're like, you're doing fine. Just try to take deep breaths. And I was trying to do that. And as I was looking at the clock, I was thinking, like, in the once I got into the ambulance, I was thinking to myself, like, you know, um, it, like, it was so funny my neighbors were yelling at me they're like is it time and I'm like no I don't know <laughs> I don't know what's going on and at the same time I was having Braxton Hicks like every 10 minutes so I was kind of freaked out by that too because I wasn't ready and I knew I was 33 I think I was 33 weeks at the time I had just had a doctor visit it was the day of my fiance's birthday which was the 22nd of March and I pretty much um I I felt like I ruined his birthday, but anywho, when I got in the ambulance, I he was in there with me, and I was like, babe, where are you? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure he was there. So um, when I got to the hospital, they were like, you know, make sure you take deep breaths, try to take your time breathing, and it's like, as soon as I got there, they did an x-ray, um, and I think what scared me the most was they did an x-ray, on my chest and I kind of got scared because I know you're not really supposed to be doing an x-ray on a pregnant woman so they had they did do the proper procedure to cover my belly and they put the x-ray on my back sat me up and um, I pretty much felt good at that point like I felt like okay well if anything bad happens at this point being that I'm freaking out going crazy um, I was at the hospital and they could possibly save my life if I was having a heart attack. But 
Anywho, <laughs> anyways, so I'm um, sitting there and they did an x-ray and they also did some blood work and I waited patiently so the doctor came back and he was telling me that I was positive for having a blood clot. And I'm thinking to myself, like, aren't blood clots bad? <laughs> like, what if it travels to my heart and I have a heart attack, which I'm already here because I thought I had a heart attack. And I'm, like, thinking to myself, like, damn, I hope I don't die in this freaking place. And I don't want to die before I get to see my son or is, is, aren't they going to try to save him? And or am I going to? It was like, oh, my mind was going through all these crazy thoughts. So they pretty much sent me up. Um, they pretty much sent me to do a CAT scan and when I was doing the CAT scan I remember I got stuck on the table because I don't like to lay flat on my back I at least like to prop up you know my um, my legs um, so they did that for me they made me as comfortable as possible like they were really sweet and they were really nice to me um, they were really concerned and I like that you know I've been in a hospital to where I had a panic attack and my clothes ripped off and I just remember being like half naked on the floor like get these people away from me you know I felt like they were trying to kill me because <laughs> they were so aggressive um, but that's another story I had hated hospitals because of that experience and that happened when I was like 18 um, that was about 10 years ago so um, but yeah, um, so I get in the CAT scan and, um, they had me put my arms up and I laid back. I was trying to calm down because I'm claustrophobic. I knew I was about to go through this little tunnel thing and I ended up going through it and I was pretty relaxed, but then they told me that I was going to feel a warm sensation, like almost like I was going to pee on myself. And I'm thinking to myself, like... I really <laughs> I don't want to pee on myself but you know but um, I didn't you know I didn't really feel like the sensation of pee but I did feel a warm sensation go from pretty much my head to my toes and it felt it felt weird it really felt weird I don't know tell me your story if you have well tell me if you had any other experience if you ever had a cat skin I don't know or any if you know anyone who does have a CAT scan, like, it's not good. I literally had to sign a waiver because I guess it's supposed to be dangerous for the baby, but being that I was 33 weeks at that time, they felt like it couldn't really be dangerous, and I'm signing this waiver thinking, like, if something happens to this baby, I'm going to kill all of you, all of you. So... I was sitting there thinking to myself, like, okay, now that that's over, doctor came back and he tells me, like, oh, we did some further research and we've sh shown that you don't have any problems with um, blood clots. And I'm thinking to myself, like, then why would the test come back positive? And um, it's so weird. It's like I think in the back of my mind, like, maybe I do. And I've also heard some horror stories in hospitals where you go to the hospital for a foot surgery and you end up dead. So, anywho, <laughs> that's not good and it's not funny. So, RIP for those people that passed away from, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what's so crazy? Like, I just... I was on, um, I think I was on social media. I think it was on Facebook or Instagram. This girl pretty much went in for a butt lift, a Brazilian butt lift, and died. I was like, man, I don't like hospitals. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just making me scared because now that I'm about to get birth, I pretty much have to come up with the birth plan and everything. So I'm just like, so I, I want to know what I want to do at this point just in case his little butt want to pop out early. I don't have a history of that, so I'm not really worried um, when it comes to that. But that's pretty much what I've just been going through. That was my horror story slash, you know, 30, 34 weeks. That was last week. So this is my 34th week now, and I'm definitely happy to say that I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I've been getting a lot of compliments. Um, I remember I was in the grocery store and there was an older white guy and he was like, you know, the sexiest thing on this earth is a pregnant woman. 
and my fiance is like a little bit ahead of me and he's like did that guy try to talk to you and I'm like no he was just kind of giving me a compliment I'm like I guess that's a good thing or whatever but um it was just kind of funny and I actually went to lunch with a couple of friends of mine and they was like oh my god you look like you're glowing and I was like no it's this highlighter and contour <laughs> and some bronzer but I, I definitely feel like a brightness like a lifting sensation like I'm a lot happier which is kind of weird that I'm having these panic attacks because I've had them in the past um I didn't know I don't know where they begin or like why they come on um I have been through a lot but um I try to keep myself in happy environments happy situations whether I'm reading studying um I like to play video games so that's one of the things I like to do to distract myself from what's going on sometimes it's like uncontrollable and um I remember when I first got pregnant I went to the hospital like every other day because I thought I was dying <laughs> but I don't want you guys to go through that so do a little bit of research read a little bit try to find some relaxation techniques like I did um, I know there's a breathing technique that you can use um, um, that's another one and um, what's another thing um, I like to eat eating makes me happy <laughs> but I don't know that's um I just know that this pregnancy has been a definite journey and you have to be strong strong-minded woman to be able to get through something like this and I know my grandmother rest in peace Grammy and you know she had 14 children and um you know, I, I think to myself, like, how did she do it mentally, you know? Um, but I think to myself, you know, I'm grateful for being here. Even my mother, like, my mother must have been really strong because me and my sisters pretty much came back to back. 87, 88, and 89. And then I do have a little brother, too, but he came along eight years later. So... And like just thinking about how women can be so strong like deep in my mind I know I'm strong and I don't like to let and see right now I feel like I'm about to cry because I know I've been so strong this entire time I've been so strong and you like this whole pregnancy has been an amazing journey and I wouldn't have it any other way I feel like I'm like going through emotions again. I guess it's just from thinking about my um it's probably from like thinking about my mom and my grandmother because they passed away. And I'm talking about a pregnancy. Um, and I'm talking about a pregnancy. And I actually had a son that passed away. Um, that's another story. If you guys want to hear that story, just let me know. I'm going to just close out this video. <laughs> Alright. Bye.